Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Some very interesting things are happening in the Middle East. In fact, an article uh, that is being brought out by Israel National News reports that Iran, Iranian commander promises surprises in Syria. The article here states that uh, the Iranian Revolutionary Guards uh, Quds Force Chief uh, Qassam Soleimani has vowed that upcoming developments in Syria will soon surprise the world. Uh, the now Lebanon News website reported on Tuesday, the world will be surprised by what we and the Syrian military leadership are preparing for the coming days. The state-owned Islamic Republic of Iran broadcasting quoted Salami as saying, according to the website. The, the Quds Force commander comment comes after a recent visit to Syria where he toured the uh, Latakia region, which has come under threat from the rebels who seized the nearby uh, Idib province last week. A number of pro-regime outlets um, reported on Soleimani's uh, trip over the weekend, according to now Lebanon, including the pro-Hezbollah uh, Mukaka News, which said that the Iranian military commander met with the Syrian army's chief of staff, as well as the top field commanders and Hezbollah's officials during his secret visit. Uh, it goes on to say an agreement was reached during the meetings that will be translated on the battlefield, uh, the outlet claimed. And meanwhile, a detected uh, uh, militiamen told the Arabic language Al uh, Quds Al Arabia newspaper that the Soleimani's trip aimed to formalize the entry of Iranian uh, officers to supervise and aid in the battles in coastal Syria for the first time since the outbreak of the Syrian uprising. Uh, you can catch this article on our uh, Facebook page, Israeli News Live, uh, to catch the rest of this. But in, in light of this, let me just share with you as well that Russia, uh, according to TASS, Russia is now moving ahead with sending the S-300 uh, missiles to Iran. Another thing that will bring a tremendous pressure on Israel uh, for them to be able to get these. It says here that... Uh, uh, all restrictions have been lifted. When we have a contract, we will supply S-300 missiles to the Republic of Iran. Uh, Jan uh, Novikov said Russian President Vladimir Putin lifted the ban of the S-300 supplies to Iran in April of 2015. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Russia's voluntary embargo uh, on deliveries of the S-300 system to Iran is no longer needed. Due to Iran, uh, due to progress in the resolution of the situation around Iran's nuclear program, initially the decision is suspended in the implementation of the contract, which was already signed and came into force. Uh, it was made in September 2010. He recalled, "It was done in the interest of the support of the consolidation efforts of the six international negotiators to stimulate the maximum maximality of constructive process of talks on settlement on the situation around Iran's nuclear program." But one must keep in mind that since the United States and the European Union have put so much pressure and sanctions on Russia, Russia clearly is doing this in defiance against the international community that's come against them. Because why? Iran is their ally. Turkey is their ally. Syria is their ally. Uh, China is their ally. All the nations that are, that are either just lightly allies of the United States and the European Union or the NATO forces. Of course, we know Turkey is part of NATO, but uh, clearly Russia is doing this in direct defiance of the evils that have been put against them by the United Nations, by NATO and its forces, by the European Union and the sanctions that they've put against Russia over the issue of Ukraine. So now they're giving these defense systems uh, some of the best in the world to the Iranians. And of course, Iranians are saying you're going to see a surprise on, uh, in Syria very soon. And it may be that the, the Iranians have agreed to bring in troops of their own to help bring this crisis in Syria to an end. We see Iran in a lot of places out in the Middle East. We see them uh, conducting in, in the battles in Iraq. We see them in Yemen. And of course, you begin to think about how that they want to divide the world up into 10 regions it seems quite clearly that Iran may end up being the head of the Middle East region when it comes to that. Nonetheless, very interesting as we watch the things unfold, we'll be watching to see what's going to follow with this situation in Iran uh, with the Syrians to see what this outcome is going to be.
I would definitely keep my eyes on Russia uh, because uh, a lot of interesting things happening there. They are certainly being pushed into a corner. And this issue with Ukraine and Crimea is not over yet. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you.